Fumble Yeah, I give them beatings. Who doesn't? Your baby is dead! You are responsible for the death of Addison. I fell asleep and that baby died. Is it smart to do drugs while you're watching children? I can't keep my eyes on her 24 hours a day. You know what? I'm not comfortable sitting down anymore. Let's stand up. I love that baby! How dare someone tell me because I didn't cry? I'm wrong. You felt a little guilty about something because you did lie to the police, right? I am angry, I am hurt, I am upset, and I want answers, and she's got to answer me today. I got three morons on my stage. And the biggest moron on the stage is you. What mother does not protect her child when somebody's whipping their ass. I ain't seen bruises on my son's back. My son said that Josh hit me. Did Josh cause those bruises? Yes. You don't think that's abuse? No, I don't think it was abuse. If I put those bruises on your back, would that be abuse? Yes. Yeah! On October 20th, 2014, Lucia woke up at 3 a.m. to feed her five-week-old daughter, only to find her face down on the couch. <laughs> Unresponsive. She claims that sudden infant death syndrome caused her daughter's death. But after she lied to the police and the child's godmother, Dee, about the details surrounding the death, people began to suspect that she was responsible. Take a look. It just draws up so many emotions in me. Um, I get angry, frustrated, sad. And I have so many unanswered questions. Um, I almost feel like I failed her. So on October 20th, I received a phone call at 5 a.m. from Lesia asking me, you know, do I want to see my goddaughter? And I'm like, at 5 in the morning? Oh, all right, well, just give me a second, you know. I found that the time was weird, but I did start getting dressed to go. After I get dressed, I walked out my door. She lives right across from me. So from where I was standing, I can see the police officers and their car in the middle of the parking lot. So I start running towards her home. When I get there and pull the screen door open, I'm concerned. I'm asking them, you know, what are you guys doing here? Because Leslie is not there. And she just called me to ask me, did I want to see my goddaughter? So I asked the police officer what's going on, and they told me that my goddaughter had passed away. So then I called Leslie on the phone to find out what the heck is going on. Because in my mind, I'm, I'm, she's asking me to, do I want to see my goddaughter? I wouldn't expect that she, she was asking me to see a, my daughter, my goddaughter dad. So she tells me, yes, that's what I was trying to tell you. I just didn't want to tell you over the phone. So I get a ride from a neighbor to the hospital. We stepped out of the room and we both were distraught and crying over, you know, the death of the baby. And I asked her what happened. She said she came downstairs, she found the baby in the bouncy chair, and she just had died, like as if it was just a freak accident. And it just didn't sit right with me. What do you mean you found your baby in the bouncy chair? Where were you? And then from the time frame that she gave me just didn't add up. And that's all she told me. So I was grieving, I let it go. And I wanna say maybe around a week into the death of the baby, I was at Lesia's apartment and we were talking. And she asked me, you know, if she could tell me something, it's, it's bothering her. I said, what is it? And she said, um, I didn't find the baby in the chair. I said, what? I said, what? I said, what do you mean? She said, and she got up and she walked over to the sofa and said she was here. I said, how? She said, face down. I said, but well, how did she get there? Who put her there? You told me your last recollection of the baby was in the bouncy chair. So she said, well, I didn't want to, I didn't know how, basically want to tell you. I didn't know how to tell you. I was afraid of other people, you know, knowing. And I said, well, did, so you told the officers to take the chair for what reason? So when she told me that story, I became angry. I, be, I, I was hurt, I cried over and over in front of her, begging for some emotions out of my friend. For the life of me, you just lost your five week old baby. What is wrong with you? So at that point, I realized she lied to the police, she lied to me. This was very upsetting for me. 
instead of, you know, being emotional, uh, she was laughing it off and saying to me that it was just God's will that she's okay. No, you know, no breakdown. I'm, I'm waiting for this woman to call me one day and say, please come to my home, I need you. And, and I wanna find her on her hands and knees bawling and I'm, and I'm not getting that. So she left, went upstairs with her two year old to put her to bed and neglectfully left her five week old downstairs with two minor children under the age of nine. It's unacceptable for me. I am angry, I am hurt, I am upset, and I want answers, and she's gotta answer me today. That's a crock of crap, for starters, Steve. Um, to clear all of that up, one of my other children took her out of her seat and put her on the couch with her. I did go upstairs. I didn't know it was against the law or neglectful to leave children in one room of your house while you're in another room. I was never told this. Um, I went to put my two-year-old to sleep. She needs to, I have to lay with her because she will not go to sleep on her own. And I did not intend on falling asleep. A natural occurrence occurred and I fell asleep. I woke up, I uh, went downstairs, and as I turned into the living room, the baby was on the sofa with my other child. Apparently what she did was pick her up. She wanted to hold her all that night. She fell asleep. The reason why I lied or I withheld the information, the police asked me, where was she? I said her seat. At some point she was in her seat. I didn't want to tell them right then and there because I do not want them questioning my young child because that's not a cross that she needs to bear in life. It's nobody, it was nobody's business. She or anybody else cannot say how I should take care of my children and what I should tell anybody. They're not taking care of my children and let alone telling me how to mourn. How dare someone tell me because I didn't cry, I'm wrong. Is it smart to do drugs while you're watching children? I can't keep my eyes on her 24 hours a day. You know what, I'm not comfortable sitting down anymore. Let's stand up. Your baby is dead! You are responsible for the death of Addison. Is it smart to do drugs while you're watching children? I can't keep my eyes on her 24 hours a day. You know what, I'm not comfortable sitting down anymore. Let's stand up. Do you feel like you did anything wrong? No, I don't. Maybe I should have taken her upstairs with me. I don't feel that, I mean. So you were comfortable. Lee, I was comfortable leaving You were comfortable five -week -old. a five week old child with uh, two children under the age of nine. Yes, I was. I've raised three other children. Can uh, children that young be responsible for a five week old? I didn't expect them to be, but it's no different than me being downstairs doing laundry while the baby's in her bassinet and the children are upstairs. The child probably would have been better off in the bassinet, don't you agree? Absolutely, um, absolutely. So you went upstairs and you laid down with your two year old. How long were they unsupervised? About four or five hours. Even if, I fell asleep. Okay, but even if, and I understand that, but and even if there wasn't a baby, why wouldn't you tell all the kids it's time for sleep? They were laying on the, t on the couch watching TV and they were gonna fall asleep. And when you go upstairs, the baby is in a, a bouncy seat? Yes. And you come down and you find the baby face down on the couch? Yes. And what did you do? Just the way she was positioned didn't look right. I picked her up, there was no movement, which, you know, normally there's a jerk or something when you pick up a baby, there was no movement. Um, I held her up and she was just laying there like she was asleep. And um, I put her down, felt her, felt no movement, and I just started screaming for the other children and, and 
get my phone, get my phone, and, and I called 911. Five hours, a long time to sleep with three little kids downstairs, isn't it? It was nighttime, I fell asleep. I know, and that's why before I go to bed, I put my kids to sleep because they shouldn't be up, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like... Well, my plan wasn't to go upstairs and go to oh, sleep. Oh, right. But you have to know, as a mother, and you said you raised three before, mm -hmm. you're going to be sleep deprived, right? Yes. So you got to put your kids in the same position before you put yourself in a position where you're going to drift off for five hours, right? Yeah. Um, Uh, that night, were you under uh, any type of influence? I smoked a blunt, maybe. You smoked marijuana? Yeah. Um, could that have led to you being asleep for five hours? No. Does it make you sleepy? Yeah. Is, it, is it smart to do drugs while you're watching children? No. No. Um, now, there was an investigation, right? Yes. And what happened with that investigation? Nothing came of it. They said so there you're was... So not, you're not being charged with a crime? No, they said there was no foul play. CPS didn't find any neglect at all? No, they closed the case. So they didn't have any problem with two children under nine watching a, a five-year-old? They weren't watching her. Well, who was watching her? She was asleep. Well, but there's a five-year-old downstairs, five right? Five-week-old. Five-week-old. Yes. Alone. They were downstairs. Well, Again, saying, we were all in the same. You can't, we okay, were in the so same somebody's home. got to watch a five-week-old, right? And we were in the same home. I can't keep my eyes on her 24 hours a day. We were all no, in the same could, home. Okay. But if you're not putting her in the bassinet or the playpen, okay. somebody has to be watching her. I didn't know that. I wasn't okay. aware. See, hold but on. I wasn't aware okay. that she can't. That's what these seats but are see, designed you, for, see, for them to sit listen, in their seat. Not, They're designed not for, for five them hours. to sit, but I fell asleep. Okay. I didn't intend okay. to go to sleep. You felt a little guilty about something because you did lie to the police, right? No, I didn't want them to know that my you child had... You lied to had, the police. I did, yes. Yeah. And I didn't want them to know that my child had her on the couch because I didn't want them to question So the child took... See, that's why you can't leave the children alone. Okay. Were you ever involved with CPS before? Yes. For what? I went to... I lived in a private home. I went to drop my one of my children off at school, and the other one was in the house, and the police said she was alone. So How was the child upstairs. at home, alone? She was two. She wasn't alone. Who was with her? Did you get a case because of this? You know, did you catch a case with CPS? Yeah. You know what, I'm not comfortable sitting down anymore. Let's stand up. Come on. You're not comfortable. I, I, I'm not, and it's my show. All right, show. you're not comfortable, so my, you can, but why do I have my to show. stand? Why because do I have my... to stand? Because it's my show. But why should I stand? I'm Because I want you to stand, that's why. Well, I don't want you to be comfortable. Oh, okay. Okay, there you go. Uh, you left the two-year-old alone, and you went and you drove somewhere. No, she wasn't alone. She was right upstairs with the video monitor. No, that's not the case. Yeah, it was. You should have had them test me on that. Well, I don't have to because we have paperwork about it. Okay. Um, That's what the police say. <laughs> and police oh, and lie. And police lie. Uh, here's the crazy thing. Lucia left a bunch of paperwork on the train. Purposefully or on purposefully, we don't know. But here's the crazy thing. The engineer found the paperwork, and guess what he did? He faxed it to us. You believe that Lucia's neglect caused the baby? Yes, I do. You are the father. Get off my stage. <laughs> you believe that Lucia's neglect caused the baby? Yes, I do. The godmother of your child that passed away, unfortunately, um, the godmother is here. Uh, how is the relationship with the godmother now? She didn't seem very happy with you on the tape she made. We've been fine. <laughs> Did you smoke marijuana today? No, I haven't smoked in a couple of months. A couple of months. Mm -hmm. All right, let's bring out uh, the godmother to the child, Dee. Let's bring out Dee. Dear you! 
you. You I'm are neglectful, responsible I'm for the death of Addison. You neglected to take her upstairs with you, and, and you, you never went left to sleep. Your kids. You never Where left did your they kids. do it? Your baby didn't we fall off the bed. We didn't hear about my kids, sweetie. Fall off my kids are in debt. But your baby didn't my fall off the bed. Where your baby didn't you? fall off the bed. Where your baby didn't fall off the bed. You don't you left cry. Alone? You want to drink? You want to party? I'm by myself. I don't have to cry in front of you. Your baby is dead. I don't have to cry in front of you. Steve, she's an imbecile. She, she's a, she's a, I don't know what to say. Uh, you know what? I love you... that baby. I don't think, because if I did think for one second that she intentionally or purposely did something to my goddaughter, we wouldn't be standing but, on your stage, Steve. But I'm not saying she's a bad you, mother, but, but she does some she... neglectful things. Neglectful. Right. As we all do. That's it. We not all here for and all. So we here for you. So what? You're not gonna and make me feel so bad. You're not you gonna keep make going me around out in circles. So going up. around in circles. And you're not so gonna make me out to be so uh, screwed up I, like you now all. Now you making yourself out. Nah, cool. like you, you all told like it you, off. All right, but I'm just filling so, in the so plank. So D, yeah, I want to ask you: Do you believe that Lucia's ne uh, neglect caused the baby? Yes, I do. Okay. Yes, I do. Yes, I do, and I have a problem with that. Right. Well, that's your problem. Right. That's so when I problem. so when I cry in front of you live with that. over the death of my goddaughter, right. and I'm feeling this to the uh -huh. death of my soul, right. that's just my problem. No, when you're crying, oh. but you have a problem, oh. then that's your problem. If you feel some kind of way, that's your I'm problem. I'm letting you know right if now. You're sad, well, she came then in yes. and took a lie detector test, Good. and we're going to get to the results. She passes. You know what? Uh, this kind of story uh, has no good outcome. No, it's not to bring some five weeks. I can bring my baby back. No. No. That's my baby. My baby. My baby. And, and y y y you know, you're not an 18-year-old girl standing on my stage with her first newborn. You know, you're a little older, should be wiser. And, uh, you know, when I talk to a person in her 30s, I shouldn't have to say, well, you shouldn't have to, you shouldn't do drugs. Um, you shouldn't leave a baby with very young children, unsupervised, and then go pass out for five hours. I shouldn't have to say that. <laughs> right. Um, and then the other thing is, you know, you left your two-year-old, because you've even stated to uh, CPS, that you would leave your two-year-old alone at times while you would take your other kids to school. Um, and I just think, like, a two-year-old? No, I would leave her with no, upstairs in the video no, monitor. No, right? no, no. All right, like I'm really, and even if I did, I'm gonna really tell them I, that. I, 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 well, you did do it, and you got no. caught. I sure didn't tell them that. You got caught, though. Lucia, you came here, and, and, and as I was saying, there's no good outcome to the show. Uh, a child got five weeks uh, a chance at life, right? Five weeks. I, I, you know, I've had 50 years, and I want 50 more. You know, this child got, you know. And maybe with a different parent, she would have had more time. Lucia, you came and took a lie detector test. Did you ever physically abuse any of your children? And yeah, I give them beatings. Who doesn't? I got three morons on my stage. What mother? does not protect her child when somebody's whipping her ass. Lucia, you came and took a lie detector test, and we asked you, on the night that your daughter died, did you find her face down on the couch? You said yes, you told the truth. On the night of your, that your daughter died, did you smoke a blunt or, uh, a a, blunt or, a, or less. less of marijuana? A blunt is a lot. Uh, you said yes, uh, you told the truth. <laughs> okay. On the night that your daughter died, did you leave your home at any time between 10 p.m. and 3 a.m., you said no. You told the truth. You were sleeping. On the night that your daughter died, did you go upstairs with the intention of going to sleep? You said no. You told the truth. 
Did you ever physically abuse any of your children? You said yes. And yeah, I give them beatings. Who doesn't? So don't even sit there and act like it's so horrible. I don't. Well, that's you, yeah. The little handful that raised their hands. Y'all know y'all. I've never hit. Never. Right. Never, oh, hit, wait, never have hit my children. You don't beat your kids? When you see me beat my kids. You don't beat your kids? When you see me beat so my kids. Beat your kid? When you me, ever you see me beat you my kids. That son when he was going up the steps. Me, back, 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 oh, but he ain't oh, dead. Okay. I'm sorry, his head. He ain't dead. And they talking about okay. my life, my living kids. He ain't dead. They talking about my living right. kids. Probably beat that. All right. Yeah, I Dude, probably did. Going. I probably did. That's why you here's, That's here's, why if you're so smart, but if you're so smart, the coroner's Lucia's report would have shown that. The coroner's confession. Lucia oh, confessed wow. to beating her children with belts. The children would hide her belts so she would use hangers instead to beat them. Now that's something I never did to him. So she, go ahead, ask me. She also confessed. She also confessed to hanging one of her children upside down by the ankles and spanking their behind. So you're gonna justify oh, to this to me how? I don't beat them. <laughs> Not anymore. I haven't beaten them. You know, uh, I, I always say, depending on who you get as a parent, really determines your whole rest of your life. If you got bad parents, what chance do you really have to get anywhere in life? And I'm, I'm afraid for your kids, quite frankly. I don't abuse my kids. Well, you don't take care of them, uh, at the very to differ. least. Well, I beg to differ. You leave your children, oh, well, I beg to differ too. Mm, okay. Uh, your, your thought of what is right and wrong with raising children, you need to go to school just to learn that. Well, uh, then. Um, You came here then today because you school, wanted to clear you your can, name um... for, you know, intentionally hurting your child. You cleared your name. But as far as I'm concerned, you're a yeah. mother. Yeah. And that's your opinion. That's your opinion. Um. Oh. Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't let you watch my dog, let alone my children. Okay, that's I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't let you I watch a goldfish. Watch children. Uh, yeah, and, and I wouldn't let you. And I advise Target anybody pets. that knows you not to let you ever watch any child. I wouldn't um, want to. And you should stop having children to. too, by the way. Um, <laughs> you want answers? You got answers. Now get the hell off my stage. <laughs> It's unusual that I wouldn't tell the mother, I'm sorry for your loss. You're the godmother, and I am sorry for your loss. Thank you, it's, Steve. it's when you hear the story, somebody died, a little child died unnecessarily. Yes. Uh, a little ounce of prevention here, a little common sense, and this child would still be alive today. Right. Um, I'm sorry for your loss, Thank you, Steve. and I hope that Lucia grows up at some point and takes good care of her children. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. I seen bruises on my son's back. My son said that Josh hit me. You don't think that's abuse? No, I don't think it was abuse. If I put those bruises on your back, would that be abuse? Yeah! You are the guy. Get off my stage. I seen bruises on my son's back. My son said that Josh hit me. In June of 2014, Darian was shocked to see marks and bruises on his four-year-old son's back. <gasps> he believes his son is being physically abused and that the child's mother, Brittany, is covering for the abuser. <laughs> her new boyfriend, Josh. <laughs> Take a look. 
June 2014, I couldn't believe what I seen. And I lifted up my son's shirt and I seen bruises on my son's back. When I seen that, I was real mad. I was real angry about it. So the next day, I made a report about it. They came out and seen him. My son said that Josh did it. I said, what? And he said, yeah, Josh hit me. I want to know why this guy is doing this to my son. Brittany and I was together for uh, two years. Then she cheated on me with Josh. Josh is not a good guy for her. The way I seen him treat my son and try and keep me from my son, that's wrong. Uh, I seen Josh hit him and smacking him and whooping him in the legs about 10 times. I'm like, what the heck are you doing to my son? He said that I need to discipline my son more. I said, not by you. It's not Josh's place to discipline my son, and I have told him that. I think uh, Brittany is covering for Josh, beating and abusing my son. Well, he's four years old, and I'm trying to get custody my son wants to stay with me. He don't want to live with his mom anymore. If Josh fails the lie detector about abusing my son, I want legal action taken. If Brittany knows that he did it, I would like her to tell the truth and quit covering for him. I'll be shocked if I fail because I would never hurt my son like that. If anything, he's an abuser. He's never been there for my son, and I've never cheated on him. I, we were engaged. I, I left him because he was not, you know, taking care of my son. He wouldn't feed him. He wouldn't change his diapers. He wouldn't clean him. Nothing. Did you ever see him abuse your son? No. Uh, never. One year old, no. <laughs> no, I don't believe he would. Do you ever see Josh discipline your son? Um, he disciplines him because if, when he doesn't act right or if he does something wrong. And I allow him to do it because he is like a father to And how child. does he discipline him? Just put him in time out or just give him a spanking. What do you say when you give him a spanking? What does that mean? Okay, like tap on the hand, you know, tap on the butt, just something. If, All right, it's not know. with a switch or a bone. Oh, no, or, no, nothing. Not right. like and he's not leaving marks on the child. No, I mean, just, just that one time um, when he whooped him. And we actually had the two for one kids called on us. Well, I mean for it and Josh. So they came and they saw they saw him and when they seen him, it was nothing on him and they dropped the case. What does a four year old do that uh, deserves a whooping? Well, not a okay. Well, okay. So like a whooping, like if he's okay. I'll say this: when I was in my teen years, I got a whooping because I did some really stupid stuff. But when I was four years old, I had to be taught. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying, what does a four-year-old do that you're going to whoop the child? Okay, when he drew on the wall. You know, don't draw on the wall. We told you not to. You know, you went behind my back, you grabbed the crayons. Like, I know he's a kid. We're not being mean to him. We're just saying, like, don't do that. Like, you know, tap. Don't do it no Did more. Did you just tap him? Yes. Mm -hmm. No whooping? No, not from me, no. I what about Josh? Just, yeah, just a whooping, you know. Just a whooping. And, yeah. So I got a problem with that. You know, four-year-old getting a whooping. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not too high on that. But no, like if you keep repeatedly telling a child to not do something, that's all. I'm well, saying. then maybe it's the way you deliver the message because I know one thing. When I tell my kids something, eh, I don't usually have to say it twice. All right, let's uh, bring Darian uh, and see what he has to say. You know my son is getting abused by my son, by him, and I don't appreciate it. You know in your heart he is abusing me, my son. But it wasn't that serious. Two one kids would have been took him from me. Did, did Josh cause those bruises? Huh? Did Josh cause those bruises? Yes. You felt like he went overboard? Yes, because, yeah, because yeah, of what it led to. Yes, because of what mean, it led to. Him, him being I, angry, I, I but he's never. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, you know what? I, I, I got to say this. If somebody hit my child like that, my saw bruises like that, I mean, you might be locking me up. I got 
three morons on my stage. And the biggest moron on the stage is you. I got three morons on my stage. And the biggest moron on the stage is you. If I hit my child like that, my bruise line like that, I wouldn't be married today. I'd be divorced. My wife would have divorced me. I, I wouldn't be with that guy. I wouldn't be wanting to want, want that guy. I got to imagine, that's got to be pretty hard for you to see bruising yeah. like that on your son. I, I, uh, I agree. It, now, Brittany says that maybe you're making this up, which no. Obviously, that's not the case because this actually happened. Um, no, I'm saying, like, he didn't make that up. It happened. That happened. It's a picture. It happened. I'm just saying June that he's 27. using that against me. Like, we're going through court. We're going through visitation. And there's things that he's done. But he should be, right? Huh? <laughs> no, I'm saying... Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Let's bring out your, your new boyfriend, Josh. The first question on my card is, have you ever physically abused Brittany and Darian's son? And I know the answer already. Yes, you did, right? No, that's not the right did answer. Did you cause the bruises on uh, their child? Did you cause that? And my son does not deserve that. Did you, did you do that? I would never do yes. such thing to that. To a three-year-old? To a three-year-old. Okay. You don't think that's a, hold, hold, hold on. You don't think that's abuse? No, I don't okay. think it was abuse. If, oh, hold on. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Okay, hold on. If I put those bruises on your back, would that be abuse? Yes. Yeah. No, no, I don't think that well, would be abuse. You'd be okay with that if I put those bruises on I'm not your saying I would be okay with it, but I'm not saying you're abusing me either. No, okay. I'm not saying, like, what happened there was... It was an accident. It was an honest accident. I'm, I know, but what I'm saying How is... How was it an accident? I, I guess I, I just can't control my strength, and that, that's, as, that's as eloquent as I can put it. I okay. mean, you can laugh, okay. but what's going on... Okay. Knowing that he can't control his strength with your child, is it okay for him to discipline him? He can't, that's he not just, what he means, though. Who it's else like, is disciplining him? No, he don't even... It's no, not it's coming him, from this guy? No, okay. it's like this. Like, okay. if his son's okay. being bad, who's going who's gonna to be the male figure in his life? So, he's not. So yes, you, he both made, of you, he are justifying like, what you did to this from... little kid's back. Are you kidding me? Wait, what? What was the question? You are both... I'm not making... I'm not... You know what? I'm not, answer, I'm not asking you any ask questions. You twice? Uh, well, what, I'm not, I'm, well, what was the statement? Well, if you shut your mouth long enough, I'll tell you. <laughs> if you can't control your own strength, and that's the discipline that you put on a three-year-old child, it happened one then you time. should not be disciplining it any child. One time. Especially. It happened one time in the course one, of three years. Especially he one took that's pictures of it and used it against. I don't give a damn. It's a three-year-old child. No, I got the It's pictures. another athlete. I got I'm the just saying, from that day. I came in this and to And that's not one hit. I, I that ain't one pictures. hit. I didn't say it was one hit. I How said, many was uh, it? I said it was one time. How many hits was that? I'd say three, four. Mm. Like, like four. I, this yeah. on a three-year-old oh, baby. No. no, 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 no. If you get a car I mean, you, you baby. Gotta admit, that's a lie. I mean, he wasn't doing this on that back. I understand it was justify a three-year-old baby. Justify it. Justify it. I'm not, I'm not trying to justify it. I'm not trying to. It sounds like you're trying to justify it. How do you pronounce your name? Darian. Darian came here, and he uh, was, came here to take a lie detector test. And, and the first thing he did was make a confession. Subject used to hit his son's legs when he was one to two years old, leaving red marks. He does not do this anymore. 
I do not. Why, know. why were you hitting his legs when he was one of two causing red marks? I mean, let, let, let me go ahead and answer okay. the question. Let, well, hold on. Okay. Do I feel good either? Why did you do that? Hold on. Why did you do that? Because he was uh, crying. Crying? And he, crying. Uh, Babies uh, cry. Yeah. And so you're hitting them? Well, no. I was whooping them. I am um, seriously, you know, the unfortunate thing is I'll probably never meet this child, right? But more than you likely, I'll never meet this are. child. Uh, you know what? The best thing would be is if I did and took him away from you. And, and in all fairness, take him away from you. I mean, I got, I got three morons on my stage. Can I say something? Can I say hold something? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You're more on number one because you hit this child in the lake causing bruising, right? You're more on number two because you come along and, ah, I came home from work and he did this, he did that. And That's not what I happened. I put some bruises on his back. That's not what happened. Right? And the biggest moron on the stage is you. Why can't you just admit it? Hey, why can't you just admit it? Why can't you just admit it? Uh, and the reason why you're the biggest moron, what mother does not protect her child when somebody's whipping her ass? It wasn't like that, man. It was not like that. We asked moron number one, All since right. your son was two years old, have All you right. hit him? Since your son was two years old, have you hit him leaving marks or bruises? Moron number one answered no. <laughs> then we asked moron number one, did you cause that cigar burn to your son's face? He answered no. And uh, the results for moron number one's lie detector test is moron number one told the truth. Rick but I never said you burned him. I said you're responsible for the guy that moron did. Moron number two. Care. That's what I said. Moron number two confessed. Subject admits that he caused an injury to the child's back, as pictured in a photograph. He has hit the child on previous occasions, leaving bruises and marks. So we asked him, did you ever physically abuse Darian and Brittany's son? Moron number two confessed. It's about the same exact incident. Moron number three. I mean, I'm just saying, we, I mean, at least you think you come out on the game, uh, I mean, on the moron, TV show. Moron, you, you can at yeah. least speak your piece, but. Moron I mean, number three confessed to Josh physically abusing her son, which she admitted on stage. She has witnessed him leave marks and bruises on the child. She did not know about the marks that are depicted in the photograph and stated that it was because the child refused to eat. That's great. Uh, and then we asked her, have, uh, we asked moron number three, have you ever left marks or bruises on your son? Moron number three answered no. And the results for more on number three's lie detector, one question is, she told the truth. Um, not good. Not good, because she admits to watching. Uh, so, again, uh, this is a little boy who has every right to grow up and be whatever he wants to be. What do you want your son to be? I want to be anything he wants to be. Anything he wants to be. Which, in this country, normally you can. But if you're put behind the eight ball with uh, guys and dad, uh, abusing your child, beat the out of them when they're little children, and you can't tell me any other Nobody way. Nobody beat the out of them. You get the hell off my stage. <laughs> um, I, I, I speak against violence all the time, right? I right. don't want violence. I, uh, I hate either. it in the news. Hate what's going on around the world. And then you got dad, you know, hitting his kid's legs. You, you're dad. You're the, you're this child's father. Yeah. And you're doing talking. that. I mean, you haven't done it, you know, in I, two I years. Stopped. You stopped. You stopped. Than but than when, when you think about that, when you did that, what do you, what do you think? I feel bad. You feel bad. I feel bad for what I've caused and. Not what he's causing. And so yeah. what, what uh, chances yeah, this kid got grown up that everybody's just beating the crap out of him? If that stuff's not he would rather be with me. That was like a year ago, though. Okay, so a year ago. All right, forget it, man. Go. 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 Yeah. The camera can follow okay. me.
Okay. You know what? A real mom would stand here and take the heat. I didn't have a real mom on my stage. <laughs> um, so I don't like you either. Um, well, I haven't. I, I don't, I'm not gonna lie. I don't spank I hope, I, You know what? I hope. I, I hope that you don't do that. No, I, I don't. hope that you'll be a good dad. I hope. And I hope. And I hope. Okay. I, Get the hell off my stage.